Sofia Malaya Argentina. She is Cecilia Rubin. And here we go, main event time. This is the fight we've all been waiting for. Hello, guys. Eight rounds of action. We spent the rules. Moments each away. This is professional. Chris, you boxing. stated that this okay. is the fight Touch that you're most anticipated to watch. Back at the corner. Thank you. Yes, absolutely. Uh, this is the fight that I've been waiting They're for. They're free signing his belt. Massimo Martini. I see already. Melissa has a little bit of a height advantage on Cecilia. Let's see if that makes a difference, though. Yeah, I think she's. The, uh, no, Melissa is the naturally bigger of the two. This is Cecilia's moving up to this division. All right. Melissa stands out in the southpaw stance. Wasting no time, coming right at her opponent with the jab and a straight left hand down the middle. Rounds are two minutes in, a, in the women's contest, so take note of that at home. Two minutes of action. Melissa starting off early, trying to take control of this bout. Ooh, good hard overhand left from Melissa. I like that Melissa's busy early right here in the first round. Cecilia seems like she does respect Melissa's power pretty early. Man, Melissa has heavy hands. You can see it. She really believes in that left hand. Good straight right hand there from, from Roman. Well, Melissa's always been a big puncher. She's always known for her power. Good uppercut there on the inside from Melissa. They say power is one of those things Beautiful that's Beautiful body shot by Melissa. Good uppercut there on the inside for Melissa. Good overhand right there for Roman. And you can see this experience from Roman is just picking up even as we go now early in this round. You know, those quick, sharp inside shot, just like that left hook just now. Body shots from Melissa. Beautiful combination. Body shots from Melissa. Hooks upstairs from Roman. I don't see Roman's punches really affecting Melissa right now. She's just staying right there and throwing her own punches. Yeah, Melissa looks, looks very big, very strong in there good body work Ooh, and a left hook upstairs from roman answers roman is answering back she is still in this fight that's that's that experience you see her answering right back whenever she does get touched by by melissa odessa parker you know melissa being a very clever fighter you will see a lead with that straight left as she did just now good body shot there from melissa good action opening round Parker really throwing those left hands with bad intentions to the head and to the body. I see another uh, Havoc fighter in the, in the blue corner with Andre. Another Havoc with, with, her Havoc sh with her Havoc skirt on. Team Havoc has been in the building here in Orlando. Scoring knockout after knockout. All wins. All wins tonight for the Havoc team. Hoping to close the night out with a 100% winning record. You know, knowing Andre Rosier, he is probably telling Melissa right now, okay, continue to use your power, bob and weave at the same time, you know, but uh, do not get careless. Those are the famous quotes that Andre gave you in the corner there. Do not Melissa get did careless. get touched with some shots from the veteran Cecilia, but for the most part, it was the power of the left hand of Parker. Round number two here. Keep in mind these rounds are only two minutes long, so they're going to go quickly. It just means we're going to have a lot of action. Ooh, good jab there from Cecilia. Cecilia a little more busier this first half of the round for the second one. As I said, you know, keep an eye out from Melissa straight left. Oh, good body shot there from Melissa. These women are throwing some heavy shots. What a work on the inside there from both fighters. Beautiful left hook by Cecilia. She's digging the body with both hands as Melissa. But Cecilia answers everything in true to form, experienced world champion fashion. Good left hook. Upstairs by Cecilia Roman. Cecilia getting the better half of that moment. 
I'd like to see Again. Melissa come up the middle after she throws those, those both hands to the body, come right up the middle after that. Melissa needs to be careful getting out too tall. She got hit with some hooks around the guard. So Cecilia looking for that again. Cecilia pushing Melissa backwards. Good hard straight jabs there from Cecilia. Keeping a very tight guard. Ooh, good body Melissa. shot from the inside from Oman. Melissa's good up close. She's throwing some good combinations oh, right now. Good, good hard exchange. body shots from Cecilia Roman, pushing Melissa back. These ladies are here to throw blows, and they're sure doing a good job at it. Oh, beautiful combination by Cecilia. And These two could Melissa be fighting in a phone booth. Throwing bombs. Big shots to end the round. It's a very big round. Not certain who to take that round, but I must say a close round it is. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, we have a fight. I told you I was looking forward to this one. Yeah, no doubt. You know, this is something that you said expected. And, of course, you know, they're really showing out at this moment. I do love the, the experience that Cecilia is doing. Cecilia is right there, and she's just, you know, sneaking in those shots that you wouldn't expect coming. Here's a replay of some of the action both women just to going back and forth throwing combinations landing big shots hard to tell who got the better of it but both of them landing big shots as the round ended good yes. last 20 seconds of the round right there again like you said chris is really hard to score that round i gotta give credit to the experience of cecilia it was very impressive well she's she seems to be coming on the first round she was a little slower and yes. i like that second round much better. A little break in the action here. From the outside. It seems like the doctor is speaking to the referee. Oh. Oh, action continues. Round number three. Stop box breaking time. The commands you'll hear from the officials in the ring. Both hands to the body by Melissa. I like the, the consistent body work from Melissa up until this point. Melissa is using range now. She's not fighting in close anymore. Of course. I think Uncle that's a Grace. smart move. Yes, I think it is. She took a lot of punishment in that last round from Cecilia, who was standing right in front. Now she's using some of that size and speed advantage. And Good I like, I like her here. little short steps. Those little short steps are making openings. And with only three fights, you know, Melissa's already learned how to, you know, adjust, you know, throughout the fight. You know, she was fighting inside all the time, throwing heavy bombs. Now she's using the boxing movement that Andre Rosier teaches back at the gym. You know, we've, that, we've seen the power from Melissa in the past, but Melissa's showing the seasoning of a, of a, of a pro with way more experience than just three fights. But Cecilia is that, again closing that, the gap. And that amateur pedigree makes a difference, especially for the women. Especially for the women, right? Like you said, Sonia. You know, oh. similar to our, our Oh, big fight. right left yep. took there from Cecilia. Cecilia is picking up in the ending part of each round, you know. Again, that could show the experience that Cecilia has over Melissa. Cecilia wants to fight on the inside. She's just yes. pushing forward, staying close, phone booth style, digging body shots. Keeping the guards up tight. Oh, big right hook Good there right. from Cecilia. I think Cecilia's doing a great job inside. Melissa needs to get back out there. I think that, that, that this was a good round for Cecilia. I feel like she's getting a little bit more comfortable, and I really need Melissa to settle down and throw her combinations. Now, the first half of the round when... Melissa was moving was good for her but once they stood in front of each other it seemed like Cecilia's consistent output was able to take control here we see both women trading shots counter hook upstairs from Cecilia Roman hook on the way out as well good straight left hand there from Melissa Melissa digging on the inside eats a right hook and a left hook Chris, you can see that Melissa, she changed her game plan early on in this fight. You know, uh, in the first round, you know, she was inside throwing big bombs. Second round, the same. You know, coming going into the third round, you know, she changed it around. Obviously, a coach, Andre Rosette, told her to stay outside, use a boxing movement, sidestep. But even that didn't pay off because Lamont just closed the gap in on her. 
And look at Cecilia, a couple deep breaths, but nothing serious. Now it looks to be in incredible condition. I saw that at the weigh-in yesterday, looking very strong, very fit. Is Cecilia Roman coming all the way from Argentina for tonight's contest? Can Melissa stay disciplined and stay outside? I love when she cuts the combinations and then circles out, does Melissa. See, Melissa's better on the outside than she is on the inside with this girl, so she should try to keep her at bay. Keep, keep that jab sticking in her face and keep her at bay. You know, she's the taller fighter. She's got to use her, her height. Cecilia is, again, closing the gap, fighting close. That's somewhere that Melissa does not need to be. She needs to get back out there, sidestep, and use the jab. Both women digging body shots on both sides, but I believe it's the double left hooks from Cecilia Roman that are winning the day at this point. Melissa with that big left hand on the inside. You know, you can tell a fighter to do a lot inside the corner, but at the same time, you got you don't know how that oh, fight is. Oh, big combination, combination there from Cecilia Roman. Melissa's getting in those uppercuts, though. Oh, Melissa's doing a great job, but Cecilia's definitely you know, making a play for fighting mm. inside. Melissa needs to get back outside, use that job, sidestep, and get away. You know, Melissa seems to be the harder of the two in terms of their punching, but Roman seems to take the punches better. Well, Roman does keep her hands up pretty tight. You know, the punches, she's not feeling full effect. Oh, big Boom. shots upstairs. Wow. See, Melissa did that one well. She went to the body and tried to come up top. Even though she missed the top, she was still there trying. Ooh, good combination here from Melissa. Ripping both hands upstairs. Good uppercut on the inside 30 there. seconds. Yeah, a little more movement for Melissa. She, you know, she's creating some space for her, and I think that's helping her. Yeah, when she cuts angles and throws punches up the middle, it's a different fight. Right. Here we see... Some big shots there from Cecilia Romanzo. It's the right hook, left hook upstairs. And then followed by the right hook and then left hook again. Yeah, both girls were pretty effective that round, landing some good punches and combinations. Yes, you know, but at the same time, you know, it's, it's amazing to see the experience of Roman just going there, Cecilia just going in there, you know, and letting the hand do, but being, you know, throwing those inside shots. Mm -hmm. You know, very short, very hard. Closing the gap on Melissa, you know. Aware that Melissa does have that one-punch power. You know, keeping her hands up. That's very important. Yeah, the bravery of Cecilia has been on display going in the lion's den through the power of Melissa Modesto to get her own shots off. We're on, moving into round number five right now. Melissa starting off again, looking beautiful early on in the round. Can she keep this up? These women are fitting three minutes worth of action into two-minute rounds going into round number five. There's Melissa throwing both hands at the body and coming up the middle. That's important to finish She's the She's looking combo. beautiful at this moment, you know, using her legs. Do not allow there you Roman go. to close the gap. Okay, at the half. End. She's doing a good job as Melissa circling, using angles, cutting shots up the middle. Showing experience well beyond her short three-fight pro career. Cecilia now got Melissa off her bike and closing the gap once again. Can Melissa stay on the move? She just got to keep make, working her angles side to side, stepping back, creating space. Cecilia Roman getting a lot of a lot of momentum and pressure coming forward. Oh, yes. It seems though, just like our previous fight, you know, one fighter is starting off early and the next one finishing hard. Mm -hmm. This seems to be the same program of their practice. Melissa having a great round, boxing smart, moving around the ring, keeping her opponent spinning. But again, you know, Romana just again, as she's done every round, closed the gap before the end of the round. That is something you have to notice, and um, she's doing a great job, you know, closing the gap. Yeah, but is it enough this round? It seemed that Melissa was able to box smartly for majority of this round. Well, Cecilia Still went to the body shots. just now. 
Great combinations there from Melissa. Yes, good one too, right down the middle from Miss Parker. She's been cutting beautiful angles these last couple rounds as an adjustment. We thought that the inside would favor Parker, but it turns out that cutting angles, moving around, and boxing has benefited the power puncher Parker. Well, when you're the shorter fighter and you're coming forward and you have somebody moving around on you and you're not as easy to counter back, so, you know, she's using her angles very well and moving around and creating space, and I feel like Melissa is performing better when she has that space between her and Cecilia. Really showing that she can switch it up in their mid-fight, which is what makes a champion. Well, we're past the second half of the fight now. It's time for the girls to really turn it up and see who really wants this win right here. Well, I would love to see Melissa go back out there, get on her toes, use her angles, use the jab. She has been very successful doing it early on in the round. Can she finish each round like that? As she's doing even right now. Still has that power punch, though. You can tell her punches are very heavy. Definitely has the power advantage in this matchup. Doesn't seem to be slowing Cecilia down, though. You know, those no. Argentinians, they train in those mountains, and they have good lungs. I don't see much uh, exhaustion from Cecilia. She's still at the same pace from what I can see. And has, been taking, and has been taking the punches very well so far. She has an incredible chin and very strong to the body as well. Oh, big right hand there from Cecilia Roman. Here we go, Toriano, scorecard. How do you have it so far? Well, you know, Ramon, she's using her experience. You know, she's going in there, sneaking in the shot, and stealing the round. You know, I... So you've got it even so far after five. And Sonia, how do you have it scored there? Well, I, I thought Melissa started off really well, but I feel like the last, you know, few rounds, it's been more Cecilia, but hopefully Melissa's going to be on the comeback to make it a more competitive. In either way, we have a very close, tight fight right now. You know, there's definitely not the place for Melissa to be on the inside. You know, she does a great job using the angles and a jab. You know, but Cecilia, you know, she's just taking that away, closing the gap. Yeah, she got to keep that space. Don't let her in. Roman is making this a very physical fight. She may not be the harder puncher, but she may be the physically stronger of the two. Oh, good left hook there from Ramon on the inside. Well, you can see the technique of Ramon right here showing, especially his experience, you know, uh, a game plan. You know, she knows Melissa had that knockout punch. So what she does, she keeps her hands up. Yeah, very, very smart tactic. Melissa threw those last two body shots as she goes over to a corner. I feel like yep. Ramon is just, you know, really good at going forward and keeping her hands up yes. and not letting Melissa get those big punches in. And she's she's really making it difficult for Melissa to land those big shots. And, and I feel like that could be a little bit frustrating for Melissa. Here we see a big right hand there from Cecilia. You know, you see her. She wants to be inside with mixing it up with the power punching Parker. She keeps pressing forward, pushes that momentum. Parker, you know, showing that power and that youth while Melissa, while uh, Cecilia, while Cecilia, you know, she's showing her experience and her resilience in there. She knows how to change it around and make it work in her best interest. Uh, yeah, this is a fight, an exciting one. Of course, you know, uh, these are the girls and they're out here to show off tonight. It's a reason that they are the main event of the evening. Saving some of the best for last. Here we go, round number seven coming up. Seven of eight. I'd like to see Melissa turn it up a little bit and really get her punches off to get ahead on the scorecard for these last two rounds. Yeah, she's going to need it down the stretch. These last two rounds are really going to help decide the winner of, of this, this contest. Melissa back outside, go. doing a good job outside, picking, sidestepping. Using a jab, but here goes, here goes Ramon, oh, just closing hooks. the gap. Melissa's showing a great chin. She's taking some big shots. Well, Melissa's a tough girl. It's going to be hard to put her down. Mm. So. Big right hand on the way out there for Cecilia. Cecilia's keeping her hands up. Most of the punches, she's pretty much just brushing them off. As the same with Melissa just now. Both of them working the body. Cecilia has been... 
letting those hands go on the inside to the body quite well the last few rounds. Melissa with those three fights, you know, you know, two of them came by knockout, you know, being the pressure fighter and the bigger puncher and the bigger opponent, you know, I believe that right here can tell you exactly how she fights. She's not used to moving backwards and moving around. Yeah. Cecilia. Cecilia's has... making it difficult for her. I feel like she's not giving her a lot of space to get her punches I, off. No, she's I, smothering the power. She's I, going yeah. in forward so she so Melissa can't get full extension her sh on her shots. The game plan of Cecilia is oh. working very well. Oh, there you go. Melissa just came with a good straight left. Both hands to the body by Melissa. Sonia, I would like to see Melissa step outside and throw her combination, use a straight left. Stay away, keep the distance, get the range. I agree, and especially I feel like Cecilia's moving forward looking at the ground. So you work your angles. Yes, you know, even a nice little uppercut up inside there would be nice. But Cecilia, again, just showing her resilience and her experience. Cecilia seems to be wet, much more comfortable on the inside in this kind of back and forth tick for tack kind of exchanges here we see the pressure from cecilia roman coming forward the angles and power punching from melissa odessa parker digging body shots are both ladies but it's the big wide hooks well it also women. depends you know what are the judges scoring are they scoring body shots or are they scoring head shots you know that's going to make a big difference in this fight <laughs> you're right about that scoring. Sonia. you're right about that Sonia, because again you know it all depends on how a judge calls the fight as in the last fight you know one fighter started off early and the next one started off late likewise with this fight here but at the same you know what body shot do they count in this fight that's going to be the, the, the tell all at the end of the round here with our that's up to the judges. final round coming up yes I Let's do believe it is going to come down to this final round, the eighth. Can Cecilia continue? Can Cecilia, Cecilia do what she's been doing throughout the fight? Just closing the gap on Melissa. I expect fireworks in this round. I think this is a very close fight still. Going into the final round. Toriano, how do you have it scored? You know, oh, Roman, Roman has been very successful throughout the fight, you know, but at the same time, Melissa, you know, she's just using her skills and her power. This round, though the score is in favor of, Rom of Roman. And then Sonia's scorecard, how do you have it there, champ? Well, I'm looking at, you know, Melissa, I feel like she's been landing some good double punch combinations of the body, and I feel like, you know, she's come on a little stronger in the end, so I'm actually in disagreement with my friend Toriano here. <laughs> <laughs> no, none taken. Well, either way, on both your scorecards, this eighth round is extremely important to decide who's going to be the winner. I do believe so. Look at these two. Going, going to the final half. We're in the final half at this moment. Less than a minute of action left in this bout. They are not stopping. They have been throwing the entire time. Oh, big shots upstairs from Roman. And Melissa, and both these girls, they know they got to leave it all in the ring. Don't leave anything in the tank. Down to the last 30 seconds here. I'm impressed with Melissa Parker yes. digging deep, throwing both hands to bolt to the body. Forced to fight in the inside. Forced to push the pace. Tremendous display from these ladies. Got about 15 seconds left both in this night. Both of them tonight are in a war, and I mean a war it is. Good body shot there from Parker on the inside. Digging both hands. I like the body work from Parker. But Cecilia ripping hooks upstairs as well. Not a one-sided fight. Not a one-sided fight by no chance. What a war. That was a good one. What a war. Cecilia Roman getting picked up by her coaches, feeling feeling happy about the way things went. You you cannot disagree with them, the feelings that they have, you know. But both women course. had their moments. Here we see in the last round the big head shots there from Cecilia Roman, letting her hands go. And then Parker comes back, ripping shots, still cutting angles. And then dig into the body on the inside. You know, this is this is a, um, a different opponent than 
what was planned. The, the opponent had fallen out, and this one was, you know, uh, a late call. So I feel like, you know, a little bit of experience may have been too much for Melissa, but, you know, we're just going to see what the judges say. Big step up for Melissa Odessa Parker. Was it too soon? And I'll, and I'll be honest, sometimes, you know, like, look, losses don't always matter. You know, it's, it's experience in the ring, and it's making you a better fighter. And sometimes you learn more when you lose than when you win. As the judges tally up who our winner is tonight, what an excellent main event we had. Action packed throughout. Well, let's see what the judges say here. Toriano Johnson scores the bout 77-77, a draw, split draw. And then Sonia has it 77-74 for Parker. That was a great main event for all of us here at the uh, Caribe in Orlando. It's been a great night of boxing for all of us. And eight rounds we go to the judges scores judge tina griffin ruled this fight 80 72 in favor of melissa parker <laughs> judge alexander levin ruled this fight 76 76 and judge brian gary ruled this fight 78 74 your winner by majority decision in the blue corner melissa I guess I was right, Toriano. <laughs> hey, you know, the women know the women, okay, Toriano? <laughs> that was a good step up challenge fight for Melissa. I Big think, step up, and, I and think she, she showed up. And I think she's going to re uh, review this fight.